Merry Christmas everybody in today's video we're talking about exactly how Bitcoin can reach the price target of hundred and twenty thousand dollars per coin guys a hundred and twenty thousand that's right guys so we're gonna go exactly how that can happen um, we're gonna look at this chart right here that explains every step of the way that takes into account every single all-time high that's ever happened and then what's exactly what's happened after every halving so you can see here the first halving and how it took off then you can see the second halving how it took off the, the third halving is where we're currently at and where we expect this price to go if it continues um, the same trends that it did before as history shows so if history continues to repeat itself after each halving then the target that we're looking at right now to reach in the next year or two is $120,000 per Bitcoin. So trust me, you do not want to miss out on this video. Guys, make sure that you like and subscribe, guys. Hit that notification bell and drop a comment. Let us know if you've been in this bull run. And if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use, uh, we use Bybit. And in the description, we have a link where you guys can sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around $100 or more. So without further ado, let's jump right in, guys. Alrighty guys, so let's jump right into it guys. Um, today's video is talking about how Bitcoin can realistically hit $100,000, right? Over 100,000 really. Um, and that's exactly what we're gonna talk about. The FOMO and greed are back. This time it's even better. Market cycles are not a fairy tale and they do exist and they do repeat themselves. So if this is another market cycle that's repeating itself, where is this market cycle? Where's it going to end? In order to figure that out, we have to look back at history to see what's, what it's done before. So for today's video, the way that we're predicting the next all time high for Bitcoin is going to be by using time from halving to all time high. So we're going to look back at history at the previous two halvings, exactly how long it took for them to get to all time highs and then how high did it actually go. And then we're going to go into bring those numbers to the third halving and try to predict what the market cycle is going to do this time around if it repeats what it did previously. So as we all know, every four years, a Bitcoin halving event happens. But Jay, what is a halving? So a halving is when the reward that miners get for verifying transactions gets cut in half. This results in deflation over time while slowly growing to a max supply of 21 million Bitcoins. This max supply is estimated to be reached around the year 2140. Insane. So with this concept in mind, there will always be less and less new Bitcoin coming into circulation. Bitcoin is growing in institutions interest and there is definitely a connection between the halving and the markets. Sorry, I was getting my face out the way. So every time a halving has happened, the market shifts from a bear market to a bull market. And you can clearly, clearly see this in this graph. The bull market extends in duration each time after a halving. It was calculated that it was around a 1.44 increase in bull market after each halving. So the first halving's bull market lasted about 364 days and its all-time high was $1,177. The second halving's bull market duration was about 524 days. The all-time high ended up being about $20,000. So with those two numbers in mind, now the third halving's estimated bull market run will be 749 days with an all-time high target of $120. $20,000. Price has always hit a new high after every single halving. This is very noticeable in the chart and data here. While some may prefer to estimate and predict the price based off the increase in percentage with every new halving, we are using the top of the parabolic channel as the target, which you can see here on all of these it basically looks like a resistance, right? And then we'll use the estimated duration of the new bull market to get that price. So 
when you use this theory and formula, it tells us that Bitcoin will hit around $120,000 in May of 2022. This theory uses a more accurate and logical system, which lays in line with the stock to flow model. As you guys can see up here, the stock to flow model predicts Bitcoin hitting $100,000 in 2021 2022 and then of course it predicts that bitcoin will hit 1 million dollars by 2024 or after 2024 but that's another subject for another day so with that theory out of the way there's one more theory that we can look at so in this theory we're using the all-time highs and the time between the two all-time highs to calculate the duration for the next all-time high the first huge peak of Bitcoin was back in 2011 when Bitcoin reached $31.90. The second huge run was back in 2013, reaching a high of $1,177. Between the 2011 high and the 2013 high, it took about 903 days. The third huge all-time high was hit back in 2017, reaching a high towards $19,800. That took about $1,400. 177 days. So using this same theory, the fourth new all-time high is estimated to be hit in 2024, reaching a high towards $250,000, estimated to take about 2,415 days. But just going off of all-time highs and between those two peaks, isn't really an accurate measure, but it is known that it always takes longer to reach a new all-time high. But 2,415 days for a new all-time high just seems way too unlikely. Institutions are now buying into Bitcoin, so it shouldn't take that long for Bitcoin to reach new all-time highs. And another thing is that the retail interest is still very, very low compared to 2017. Look at this chart here of Google Trends. In 2017, how it topped off way up here compared to where it is currently in 2020 way down here that's that might not even be half of what it was in 2017 so here's some interesting data that makes bitcoin a lot more bullish in the future 4 million bitcoin is lost due to lost wallets there's currently 18.5 million bitcoin in circulation out of those 18.5 million 4 million are lost that means that 21.6% of all Bitcoin currently in circulation is lost forever. So why is that bullish for Bitcoin? This means that 21.6% of Bitcoin's market cap is lost forever and will never move. That is more than $60 billion lost. Next, the US printed 21% of all USD that's currently in circulation in 2020. These are crazy numbers that only lead to inflation in the future. Look at this chart, guys. Look how much was printed all the years prior. And then look at 2020. 21.6% of all US dollars were printed this year. That is... Also, check out this tweet from Charlie. US inflation expectations rise to their highest level since April of 2019. 1.97%. And here you can see the chart of exactly where inflation is. Then the final thing we're going to mention is Bitcoin on Wall Street. That's right, guys. The S&P Dow Jones will launch cryptocurrency indices in 2021. Guys, this alone will help Bitcoin just continue to take off and continue to bring in more and more institutional investors. I want to give credit to Jonathan Vienne, which supplied me with a lot of this data. Guys, the future is bright for Bitcoin and all other cryptocurrencies. So I'm only looking forward to 2021 and I can't wait for what it has in store for us. If we were able to survive 2020, we're definitely going to thrive in 2021. Merry Christmas, guys. I will see you tomorrow. Peace and love.